Hello everyone, my name is Palm Samayoi, and we're back for another edition of Palm Samayoi of... Let me start it over again. Hello everyone, my name is Palm Samayoi, and we're back for another edition of Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting. This will be episode 641. It's going to be Shiny Hunting for another Tortuga. Um, so when I finally find the second Shiny Tortuga, I'll be evolving into Karakosa, and I'll be basing the name off of the uh, color Shiny. So, the color Shiny, the Shiny's color, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so Shiny Caracosta is like a sapphire blue color to me, so I decided with the simple name Sapphire Coast, so that's, that's what I'll be calling it whenever I do find it, of course. But anyway, the topic for this episode is by me. It's about Kirby Superstar. It's pretty much, what are your favorite copy ability or copy abilities, it could be more than one, um, in that game, if you even have one, if you care about it at all, of course. I would definitely say my number one favorite in that game would have to be uh, the Hammer. Because the hammer is just so powerful. When you do the up, uh, whatever button you have to attack, you do up and then that attack button, you do like an uppercut of like a flaming hammer. And that's like, if you're able to get it off, you have to be really close to your enemy to do it. But when you get it off, it does so much damage. And just the overall things of the hammer, you literally can just run and then do like a sliding um, attack and it'll make you pretty much invincible until you stop attacking. And then do like a spinning attack when you jump and attack. It's so good. It's so freaking good. I love the hammer so much. Um, but I would say for like for like a co-op copy ability to like have, because you can do that in that game, you can summon an ally. It uses up your power-up, but it summons an ally. Um, pretty much the wheelie would be the best one for that, because you would take a ride on it. And then when you want to get off and like use your hammer, then you can use that. And you can even attack on the wheelie as well. It just shoots like a little star in front of you, not too far away from you. But I mean, hey, if you're trying to get away out of there, then I'll do a trick. But anyways, um, that's personally my favorite ones. Um, so I'm curious to know, what are your favorites? Uh, if you have any, of course. But yeah, I didn't really do much yesterday. Um... Well then again, I went over to my neighbor's house because I thought I was going to uh, celebrate my birthday with her. Because uh, she said that probably on Thursday, but she like had a bunch of stuff with like her internet box not working. And that pretty much means that um, not only can you not use the internet, but you can't use your cable or your um, house line for the phone. So that's really bad. Um, but anyways, when I went over there, um, I might be celebrating today because... With the whole thing about the disability check thing, I actually have to have an appointment made. And then whenever they say I can come on that day, I'll be going on that day. And I'll count that as work on that day, so I won't be making it up for me missing not recording on the day. So, um, yeah, just letting you know about that. For stuff like that, I do count that as work, because that's going to be going towards something very important. Um, so, yeah. So, pretty much, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, like, today because I don't think it's possible for you something like that for like a doctor's appointment to like guarantee paperwork that I have these health problems so that the whole disability check thing will most likely be good because um yeah I'm glad that I didn't finish it online because when it asked me if I had any proof that I had these health problems I just said no and you never know with these kind of things your first try can be like affecting your further try and all that and could be put on your record saying that you weren't prepared and everything and then they might not even give you the thing for that. So, yeah, pretty much that's why I didn't want to risk it and finish that. I could have done that yesterday because I had time left over in the day. But, no, I just realized that it was not smart to do that. I will finally complete the form when I actually have the paperwork to have proofed. And then so I can check the box of yes for that option. Because, um, yeah, that's just something that I think will be very important not to screw up your first try on. Um, but, anyways, yeah, so, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that like actually going for that today because I don't think the appointment is going to be like me going over there today I don't know it'll be whenever it happens it happens that's when the schedule will be but anyways um so also yeah when I went over to my neighbor's house uh she gave me a cheesecake because I told her that my favorite was cheesecake a while ago when we were just talking just normally and then she yeah gave me the classic french styled uh fluffy cheesecake um, and yeah, it's just, literally, because, um, 
I gave my brother two pieces and then my mom one piece. And then there was literally five more left because I cut into eight pieces. And yeah, you're not going to believe this, but I literally ate all those pieces. Except for, like I said, left one for my mom and then my brother ate two. Because um, they were the only ones who actually said happy birthday to me around here. Um, so yeah, that's why I gave offered them the cake. Because, you know, if you have someone... This is like a little thing with me. If you pretty much... Um, don't wish someone happy birthday and you eat like their cake or whatever it is something like that that's directly supposed to be for like their birthday celebration food then literally I would say you're gonna be cursed that's literally what I think is gonna happen so that's why I never you know just do that to anyone and I'm not gonna be offering it to anyone um, who didn't say it and like yeah so yeah that's just what I think at least but um yeah it was just I still don't know how I did that, because I literally ate everything that I usually would, and then I ate that after, afterwards, so I was insane that I was able to do that. It's just because I'm so trained and used to eating so much cheesecake all the time, because of that one summer that I literally, um, the only thing I ate that whole summer was cheesecake and cheese it. Like, I literally would just, like, that's all I would eat, and then when I felt full, I would just cover it up, and then just, like, whenever I was hungry again, I would eat that again. <laughs> so it was, I think it's because of that, that's why I was able to eat so much at once, and it was just, it was crazy. It was such a good feeling as well. And kind of the reason why I wanted to scarf all that down was because I didn't want the other days to be, like, screwed up my stomach, and my stomach doesn't really feel that much different, so... Maybe it's just like I'm all good still. It's just I didn't want to have it like on each day so that I would have a change to my stomach to where it would be like used to having that. And then when it finally does run out, it would like be all screwed up and be like, oh, where's the cheesecake? So that's why I just wanted to get it all done on one day. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I just love, it's like that's not the one that I'm used to that I had. That was like the fluffy type one. Because the one I'm used to is like the solid all around just, no toppings on it, just simple cheesecake, classic cheesecake. It was the same brand, it was Sara Lee, but, um, yeah, I'm not used to that one. That one, I usually would taste that type of cheesecake if it would be, like, the strawberry one with, like, the whipped cream and all the extra stuff on it. Um, but, yeah, I'm just used to the classic one. I don't know, maybe they don't sell that one anymore. Maybe she just got the, like, fanciest one that she can for me, but... I just, I wouldn't mind it. That one was still good, but I just love the classic taste of the cheesecake. It's just, like, the plain, like, it just literally says classic flavor. And it's so good. So freaking good. But, yeah, that was, uh, pretty crazy. So, before I got onto recording and everything, I actually checked my subscriptions for YouTube, the people that I subscribe to. And there was, uh, I believe... Let me see. A few games that are not out yet. Um, that are going to come from Nintendo Switch. And my whole Nintendo Switch list. That I want to like get. And I won't try to grind for. Until um, my next birthday. But I'll just be like. I'll keep trying to put my money. That I'm able to spend. Once I actually do have a Nintendo Switch of course. I don't know when that's going to happen. That might even happen uh, anytime soon. I'm saying if I do get it, I'm going to be saving up my money towards those things. Um, because, like I said, my family isn't, any, isn't in any danger, so they don't need, like, all the money that I, you know, make from that. I just want to be responsible and be able to, like, pay the bills, have the bills once a month, and just, like, have some money for, um, saved up for emergencies. And then I still got those, like, Branzuka people to, like, add campaign people to pay back, even though they gave me the free just like $150 total first one was 100 and then the second one recently was $50 for me to use as like a campaign um, I still want to pay them back eventually but I definitely want to get that whole list so now it's at the very least including the Nintendo Switch because I don't have one um, and all those games and plus the new ones that I found out that are going to be coming out soon um, that's like at least a thousand dollars so it's like it's going to be crazy but that's something that once a year I believe you just like if you're able to work for it and everything which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get work and all that stuff um and just hey even that disability check thing that would be amazing to put towards that um but once I complete that list it's just like 
that's going to be my once a year thing would have been my birthday present to myself to like give me things that I personally want to enjoy it's not anything work related I easily can make content out of that stuff but it's the main aim is just for me to be enjoying you know that as my birthday present so that's what I'm going to be saving for I call it the Nintendo Switch list because literally that's what it is it's literally a Nintendo Switch if I don't have one and then all those games that I really that aren't even like the ones that are out but also the ones I can pre-order as well so it's it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be pretty crazy so yeah the games I'm really excited for that aren't out yet uh, I believe Terraria has been out since yesterday but I don't see it on GameStop maybe it's just because people haven't sold it but you can get it as a physical game um, probably but I just it isn't out yet so that I want to get that just came out recently and the ones that aren't even out yet I want Pokemon Sword um, RPG Maker MV, Baldo, Chris Tales, um, Luca, Something of Dreams, and then Rad. So, four, oh, then another one, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, the new one, the new remastered one, I want that one as well. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I could even say the whole list, um, I could say that, but this episode is about to be done, but well, I guess I could, you know what, yeah, I'll do it whenever I'm like waiting on the loading screen to come up for the pop reset, okay, I'll check it right now, so it is Nintendo Switch, of course, the gray one, if I'm able to, because I love black and Great. Captain Shown Treasure Tracker, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Kirby Star Allies, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hold on, let me do the, the soft resetting. I mean, not the soft resetting, the actual revive and everything, so I am doing the Shiny Hunting episode. And then, um, yeah, then I'll continue and read them off more. But it's a good list so far, right? It's pretty good. But, anyways, um,. Alright, let me read more off of it. Minecraft Story Mode Complete Adventure, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Octopath Traveler, Pixar, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Scribble Knots Mega Pack, Super Mario Odyssey. There's still more. <laughs> I'm like 75% of the way there, but you, you can see how much it is. Like, all, like, especially because the Nintendo Switch games, most of them are like like almost sixty dollars even pre-owned at GameStop so you can see why it's at least thousand dollars and then plus these new ones it's gonna be like maybe like a thousand five hundred or a thousand two hundred so that's why it's gonna be crazy but anyways um, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, Cabela's The Hunt Championship Edition, Terraria the ones that are coming for pre-owned um, that aren't out yet, not pre-owned, pre-ordered I'll say those next, and then, yeah. Yeah, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, the new remastered one, Luca Born of a Dream, Rad, Baldo, Chris Tales, Pokemon Sword, and RPG Maker MV. So, yeah, that's my list, and it can always be, you know, added more to, because just, they, these things come out of nowhere, because I literally haven't watched YouTube since, like, it said since, like, a week ago that these new ones were out, so I haven't seen those, so I haven't literally watched YouTube for, like, a week. And I might not even be able to watch it today because, um, yeah, I'm going to be using the time that I'm able to all the way up until 3 o'clock, an hour before I would usually eat, to actually go towards the birthday stream that have that stacking up because if I'm not, like, you know, if I can today, then I definitely will. So I want to be going towards finishing that birthday stream once and for all. So, yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get all that done because, um, yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. So, yeah.
Alright, I'll be ending off episode 641.